post-match press conference following uh, Scotland against UAE with the captain of Scotland, Richie Barrington, who made 100 today. Uh, Richie, how did you rate that innings? Um, yeah, obviously look, it was a really important one in the context of the, of the game. Um, just pleasing to, to make a, con a good contribution uh, towards the team's effort there. Uh, pretty crucial win that for you. It sets you up very nicely now for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, um, it was really important, I guess, uh, today after the win against Ireland um, that we kept that momentum and we, we came back um, even stronger today. So, yeah, really important to get those those first two wins. But we know we've got another another tough game on, on Sunday against Oman. So, important that we recover, you know, enjoy this, recover, rest up and then come back again stronger on Sunday. Just a close win uh, against uh, in your last game, and of course today you were, you looked far much much more comfortable uh, throughout uh, the game, whether you were betting or bowling. What would be your comments for today? So is that personally or the team? For the team, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I think um, look, it was it was a tough morning. Uh, I thought UAE bowled really well um, up front, um, asked a lot of questions and. Obviously losing a few early wickets was important that we, we had to rebuild again uh, through the middle, uh, which we did manage to do for a period of time. And it probably it just sort of felt every time we started to get going again, maybe we lost the wicket. So we had to just delay things a little bit longer. Um, but I thought the way the way Mark Watt played um, towards the end there was absolutely fantastic. Um, it took a lot of pressure off me as well, the way he was striking the ball when he came out, because um, I certainly didn't find it find it easy um, and it, yeah with the ball obviously really important to come out and to get early wickets uh, so it was pleasing again to get those early wickets and, and really capitalise that on uh, through, the, through the middle. Would you say you were trying to rush things so that you could uh, improve on your run rate? Uh, no that didn't really sort of come into it to be honest we were just trying to look to execute what we, what we know we need to uh, as a batting and uh, bowling unit. Um, we're always looking to, to take wickets. Um, that's the, the aggressive way we want to play. So that was just it was as simple as that, really. So with the win today and the win prior to that, you guys quickly lost wickets in both of the matches. How would you say you came back from that and you know gathered momentum and went on to win the match? Uh, yeah, I think it was just um, real graft at times. Um, it wasn't easy to sort of get your timing on that wicket. Um, I think we saw that throughout the whole day. Uh, maybe apart from the new ball in the, in the second innings, uh, looked on it was looked like it was coming on okay. Um, but yeah, it was just really working hard through that middle, those middle overs, running well between the wickets, and as I said, trying to keep some wickets in hand towards the back end, especially with the the one, the two short uh, square boundaries here. If we had a couple of guys set towards the end, we knew we could uh, sort of capitalise uh, towards towards that back end. Yeah. So on a personal level, how was that century for you? Any challenges and how did you feel finally getting to the century? Uh, yeah, I wasn't really, to be honest out there, I was just trying to break it down as much as possible. Um, trying to win every ball uh, as a batsman. Um, as I said, I was really pleased obviously to make a, a contribution towards the, the team's efforts. Um, that the hundred's probably taken a bit longer than I would have liked, but um, yeah, the main thing was trying to contribute towards towards getting a good total on the board. Um, hopefully, we can, can look to keep um, building on that. Skipper, it's now two in two. And now looking that it is going to get tougher as this competition goes on, and with your top order struggling to get runs, are we likely to see any changes in your top betting order? No, I think look, that's the way it can go sometimes uh, with a new ball. Um, I think we've seen that in a few of the games. There's been early wickets at times. Um, I think for the guy that you know, our back, we back all our, our batsmen, um, especially at the top. So if they've got plenty of runs behind them. We saw Chris McBride uh, get his first 50 the other day. So you know, guys are guys are in good form and hitting the ball well. Um, as I say, it's on to the next game now, and we just have to look to to keep executing well what we what we know we keep doing what we know we need to do well as a team. And then looking at another performance from Michael Lisk, he's been consistent in the two games. He's scored a brilliant 40 as well in this, in this one. Yeah, he's in great form at the moment, um, and hopefully that will that will continue. You know, he's always when he comes in, he takes a lot of pressure off the the batsman at the other end, um, just with the positive way in which he plays. So yeah, hopefully hopefully that form will continue um, over the next few games. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.